Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Apologies in advance if I look a little bit uh, ruffled and dishevelled. I'm filming this about uh, 20 minutes after my Ranach Moor video, so I'm still suffering the effects of the assault by several thousand midges. Uh, I've come to... Actually, I'll show you where I've come. As you can see, I've come to the beautiful Glen Orkney and in particular, I'm here to photograph this. This is a uh, Orkney or the Falls of Orkney. Right, hopefully you can hear me over this noise. Uh, if you come to this particular location. I know some people watch the videos for ideas of places to visit. If you come to this particular location, wear good boots and uh, just be very, very careful. You've got to come down on what is some very, very slidey rocks before you can get anywhere near a viewpoint. Uh, and if you slip and fall, <laughs> you're straight into the river. I'm going to grab a shot here, looking up this little uh, fall here. And then I might try and get a little bit further round because there's a better vantage point. There's obviously a bridge there uh, which you can get over the waterfall and look shoot straight down. But I'm going to try and concentrate on just little details on this. So I think this might be a, a shot, a video for the, the telephoto lens. And I'll talk you through the next composition as soon as I've decided what it's going to be. Okay, right, I've settled on this for the first shot. As you can see, it's really just a close-up of these falls. Uh, I've gone, it's almost black and white when you look at it because of the, the colour of the rocks, but I'm trying to take a long exposure, but the problem is that central part there, this part here, is actually very bright compared to the, the rocks, and so it's overexposing that, but underexposing everything else, so I think this might be a, another bracket, I'm afraid, to try and, um, to try and get the exposure just right. <coughs> yeah, I like these two little falls here with these gnarly old trees in the background and then you've got a little bit of mist in the hill beyond. So uh, I've set up a shot there, I've already taken it. Uh, again, kind of difficult in terms of exposure but it looks nice, I think that should... I'll know when I get it back and have a look on the computer but it's looking nice. Ooh, the bad news is the midges have followed me. I'm being eaten alive again. Alright, I kind of like this view. You've got all these little waterfalls and cascades here. Those two that I liked are over there. Those trees that I liked are over there, but you've also got all these other falls now. Uh, all in the same shot. This is going to be a short video, these midges are doing my head in. Ah. Been eating alive. We do have some some mist coming in over the top of the hill now. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. So I'm hoping that that's going to chase the midges away. Although it hasn't worked yet. Okay, so Glen Orkey has officially got the hardest midges. <laughs> it started to rain and they're still biting me. Can he win? I like this composition. I've got the telephoto lens on just now, and as you can see there's a bit of mist starting to form. So, I've got this tree pretty much silhouetted against the misty background now. And you've still got these uh, waterfalls here, the little cascades coming down in front. and. Uh, as before, I'm having to bracket the exposure a bit because, uh, well, it's quite a wide dynamic range yet again. But I like that. I like I like the the combination of the trees and the waterfall, and I'm loving the rocks. I'm spent. I've got because the reason I've got the telephoto lens on is uh, I spent a while just grabbing details in the rocks. The the geology is quite interesting here, um, so I'm going to going to spend a bit more time concentrating on the rocks rather than the waterfall now 
see if we can get a couple of kind of arty shots that way. I like this this boulder that's kind of jutting out and the water's flowing over it every now and again. I like that. So what I've done is I've set up a set up a close-up, let me see here, on that boulder, and I'm just grabbing shots. Again, although that's in full colour, it almost looks black and white, doesn't it? But uh, I'm just grabbing random shots now, and uh, I'll have a look when I get back to see which one I prefer. But again, having to be careful with exposure, having to underexpose it slightly, otherwise I'm burning out the highlights. But yeah, I like that, it's a nice shot. I'll see I'm underneath the bridge now. There's a little just show you this. There's a little ledge that you can come out onto overlooking the falls. And uh, I'm kind of shooting up this way now through the, the gorge. Unfortunately that these boulders are kind of obscuring the best of the falls, but I might be able to get them from on top of the bridge. So right, I'm, what I'm doing here just now is just grabbing details in these rocks again. Plus of course we've got this little waterfall here with another buried, uh, what I think is a rowan tree at the top there. So I'm going to grab some shots of that. Grab a few more up here and then I'll head up onto the top of the bridge and see if we can get a better vantage point of those other falls. Right, well... It's not what you'd call a traditional landscape photograph, but this kind of caught my eye. I like this old uh, depth marker here, and as you can probably see even in the video that this foam is kind of forming little uh, eddies and little whirlpools because of the flow of the, the river. So what I've done is I've set up a, a long exposure photograph, a 30 second exposure, and I'll, I'll show you it in the back. I've already taken it, but I kind of like that. It's kind of, you can see the swirling eddy of the water. Uh, the little hand of man there with the the depth marker and uh, yeah, I kind of like that, it's a nice shot I'll take a couple just in case because obviously you'll get different patterns in the in the water for each one but uh, yeah, I like that, I like that, it's a bit unusual not the sort of thing I'd normally take Right, I think I'm going to set up a long exposure here as well and do the same thing with this because you've got these, the foams forming little eddies here as well and you've got the added attraction of the land, of the, the waterfall so I'm going to take a shot there as well Kind of like the way you're just seeing the top of this hill now peeking out of the mist so I've stuck a graduated filter on and uh, grabbed that shot. Gives a wee bit more drama, doesn't it? As you can probably see, I've come over the other side of the, the river now. There's not really that many great vantage points over here. Also, the car park start to get a bit busier. And here we have a photographer in their natural habitat, just uh, grabbing his shots. Yeah, I definitely think the best views are from the other side of uh, these falls in particular. There are other waterfalls along the glen, so I'll maybe nick along to another one of those and see if we can get some shots there. So. Looks like I got here just in the nick of time. There's a group of, oh well, I counted five, possibly six uh, photographers all heading down to exactly the spot I was at. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll call it a day. So, oh, my Jesus are still at it. Right, uh, I'm kind of suffering from the curse of the DJI Osmo Pocket. The battery's running uh, very low. So I'm going to recharge it and uh, 
recharge myself. I'll have a sandwich and a cup of tea. And then I'm going to head to the third location of the day.